tonight's total lunar eclipse. We'll read here the details. Good morning, Will. Hello, good morning to everyone. We have a celestial event worth staying up for tonight or getting up a few minutes earlier for you, George. <laughs> it's a blood moon, total lunar eclipse. The full event begins just before midnight tonight on the East Coast. It'll end around dawn tomorrow. And here's the big stuff. Just after 1 a.m. Eastern time, the partial lunar eclipse will begin. That means part of the moon will appear to be missing that classic crescent C shape. But stay awake and keep looking up because from around 2.30 a.m. Eastern for an hour or so, we get the total lunar eclipse. Earth gets between the moon and the sun. It lines up just right so that it blocks out all of the light heading from the sun toward the moon and casting a shadow over it. And we all recall the solar eclipse just about a year ago, not just because of all the excitement, but also because of all the precautions we had to take to stare at the sun, those special protective glasses we all had to wear. But what's different here with the lunar event is you can look at the moon. So go ahead, gaze skyward, worry free. Anyone in the US mainland can see it, but try to get to a darker spot if you can for better viewing. And at the beginning of the eclipse, you'll see the moon start to disappear. It's still whitish, it still looks like the moon. Keep waiting though, because when the Earth fully gets into the right position in front of the sun, it will cause it to appear huge and red, which is where the name Blood Moon comes from. Ooh, thank you. There you go. Thank I you don't even need to set an alarm. Yeah, you just <laughs> wake up with the moon. George is already up. You got it. I don't wonder if he even sleeps.